Welcome to 365 Christian Men, where every day we aim to inspire and encourage with real life stories about men. September 14, William McKinley. In 1861, William McKinley was a 17 year old teacher in a country school when the Civil War broke out. As a young man who knew his duty, he enlisted. By the end of the war, in 1865, he was a major. By 1897, he had become the 25th President of the United States. On this date, in 1901, William McKinley died from a gunshot wound, a wound inflicted by an assassin. Faithfulness to God demands daily decisions. In July of 1864, 21-year-old 2nd Lieutenant William McKinley found himself on Lieutenant Colonel Rutherford B. Hayes' staff, currently in the Virginia Valley near Kernstown. The Confederates began firing. The Union Army, having underestimated the South's strength, retreated. Hayes turned to McKinley, a young man he had come to think of as a son, and gave him a task, a dangerous task, that would require more courage than Lieutenant McKinley had ever shown. There's a regiment caught in the orchard still under fire, Hayes told McKinley. We need them to move into retreat if they haven't already fallen. Years before, McKinley had given his life to the Lord, and he had no doubt of the rightness of the North's cause. So he put his life in God's hands and simply mounted his horse and took off toward the advancing enemy and the stranded regiment. In spite of the constant shelling from the enemy, McKinley charged across open fields while his fellow officers watched in concern. The young man directed his horse to leap over fences in plain view, to forge through ditches, to keep moving forward. The air filled with vapor from the barrage of cannons, and bullets whizzed all around. Then one exploded very near to him. The smoke obscured him from view. All of the officers who marked his progress flinched for Lieutenant McKinley was a favorite with everyone, enlisted men and officers alike. They feared Lieutenant Colonel Hayes had sent the promising young man to his death. Then, suddenly, McKinley emerged from the smoke and debris, firmly seated on his horse and riding with the strength and courage of a warrior. Hope soared as McKinley reached the orchard. Once there, he directed the stray regiment to join the retreat. After one last volley with the enemy, the regiment followed McKinley to safety. They soon fell in line with their brigade and marched back to a more secure position. Young McKinley returned to the side of his commanding officer. Hayes turned to him. I never expected to see you again, he said. McKinley simply smiled and acknowledged he had done his duty for the sake of the men in that regiment. It's like the word of God says in 1 John 3.16, we know love by this, that Jesus laid down his life for us, and we ought to lay down our lives for the brethren. Faithfulness to God demands daily decisions. Can you be counted on? Thank you for listening to today's story. Every day of the year, our hope is to inspire you with real life stories of faithful men who have gone before us. Hebrews 12.1 says, Therefore, since we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses, let us lay aside every weight and the sin that so easily ensnares us. Let us run with endurance the race that is set before us. Join us tomorrow for another story at 365christianmen.com.